we are at Addington Hills outside Croydon and it's kind of quite a big sort of park in the middle of a suburban landscape. So there's lots of kind of 1930s and 50s housing developments all around us but you wouldn't know it from where we are. One of the great things about this view is it doesn't feel like any of the other views you see of London. It's quite uncluttered. You're a long way away from the centre, so you have a really panoramic view across from east to west. And also, one of the things that's really special about it is not a lot of people seem to know about this viewpoint. It's sort of quite a nice quiet time here. Views are an amazing way of orientating yourself in the world and seeing physically where you sit. And also there is that feeling of being able to stop and look and contemplate. You don't, we don't have a lot of those still moments in our lives. Having quite a big chunk of that view already sort of being gradually sort of crept into does mean that we are losing, you know, we're losing the horizon from here. And that's, I don't think that is at all taken into consideration with planning in the same way that it would be if it were a protected view. I grew up on a big sort of working class housing estate just over there. We don't really expect to have protective, but then, you know, I don't think that's something that people think about, you know, we certainly wouldn't campaign for. And, uh, and as a result, we could lose that. I think for South London, it would be fantastic to have a kind of equality of, of consideration that North London has. And so I think protecting, protecting views is a really interesting campaign. I think people should definitely support it.